Hi everybody. Thanks for joining me on Let Your Art Out today. So who doesn't love Happy Mail? I love Happy Mail and I thought I would uh, try something new and add some di digital images to my envelopes and kind of raise my game on the Happy Mail. So I thought I would walk you through just in case you didn't know on how to create an envelope type document in Publisher. And uh, you start with a blank page and you go ahead and click on the page design uh, menu and click on size. And at the bottom of this menu you're going to have more preset page sizes. That's going to bring up a bunch of folders and you're going to go ahead and click on the envelopes. Hopefully you know what size envelopes you're using and uh, there are a lot of them to choose from. So I'm using the business uh, size 10 and you can do this in either an landscape orientation or a portrait orientation. And I like to make it simple. So I do portrait because that's the direction it's going to go through my printer. Um, the margins are a little bit too big for me. Um, I like more space, so you just click on margins and make it narrow and it gives you some more room for you to, to put your images. And then that's here's where you add your images. You do insert and then pictures. Choose which images you want to add. Resize them, print them, and voila, you have an envelope with some cool digital images. So these are images from the Oddball Art Co. I am a uh, member of the Oddball Designer team and this is primarily um, all images from the October monthly member exclusive. Um, yeah, so uh, as part of the Oddball Designer team, I do get a discount code, so if you are interested in checking them out and you find something that you like, um, I will provide the link in my description of this video as well as the discount code. And the discount code is a buy to get one free code. Um, I love their images. Uh, I use them almost exclusively on um, you know all my swaps uh, unless I draw something original. So something interesting um, about my style is that uh, I use acrylic paints almost like watercolors and um, what I do is I, I dip my brush in water and then just grab a little bit. I use a very small brush and I grab just a little bit of paint and you know that initial surface touch um, gives you a whole bunch of paint but then the water in the brush helps you kind of diffuse that out and then when I'm adding my lighter color like in these arms coming out of the ground the zombie arms um, the darker color is still a little wet so that I get a really really nice blend and here's another way that I love to use this technique is in doing a landscape like this. You grab a whole bunch of paint and water it down and it looks just like watercolor. And that's just how I, I, I like to do it. I used to do a, a lot of Copic, Copic, Copic marker coloring. Um, but uh, my markers are starting to run out of ink and I'm haven't gone out and gotten inkers, re-inkers yet, and I'm just totally into acrylics right now, so haven't gotten to it. So this sign, oh, what a pain in the butt. Um, this sign, I was going for like a metallic looking sign, and I just did not like the way it turned out. And then another thing that I'm doing that I don't like is I colored in the black eyes with yellow. I don't like that either, I swear. I spend probably a third of my time on projects redoing things, you know, my grand ideas that don't turn out. Uh, I spend a lot of time redoing things in my projects. 
So using a scribble stick here, I do use those quite a bit, um, especially the black because my, I don't have a Dilutions paint in black anymore. I used it all and haven't reordered it. Um, so if I just need a, a, a real little bit of uh, paint, I'll just grab a, a scribble stick and, and get that on my brush and, and use that. So just uh, doing the face with uh, a warm beige and um, adding some dirtiness to her hair, making her like a dishwater blonde. So back to the sign, the dang sign. Um, thought maybe I could, you know, add some texture here by emphasizing the frame and making it look like it's like a curved sign. Um, I'm still not happy with it. Uh, so here I am looking at it, trying to think of what I'm, what I want to do and uh, realize, hmm, the arms are coming out of the grass when arms need to be coming out of the ground. So adding some dirt piled up around uh, those arms to make them look like they're actually coming out of the ground and not just standing on the grass. Using a jelly roll to uh, fill in the uh, white s stitches on the arm and the micron pen. I thought I would go for a a wooden sign here so adding in you know the lines for the planks again this is where I really like using the technique with uh, you know the water and acrylic because you get that hard edge that blends in and, and in this case it, it really does help with the uh, texture the dimensions of each individual plank the other thing I thought about after this too was what a great idea. Now I have lines that I can write the address on too. So my addresses aren't going to be crooked all over the envelope. Um, usually I wouldn't go this far on an envelope, but since I was doing a video, I thought, hey, I'll do some a couple extra touches here. Um, so I just drew a border around the envelope and I'm kind of going for that distressed look, um, you know, an, an old kind of document or picture or I don't know just make it interesting I guess is what I'm trying to do and uh, yeah just adding a little bit of uh, background color around those edges to make it more interesting so like I said these are the uh, art, oddball art images I am a new member on the oddball designer team and uh, in the description will be a link and a discount code if you care to take a look at the images. I love them. Uh, again, I, I use them almost exclusively anymore. And uh, that discount code is a buy one get, I'm sorry, buy two, get one free. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you give it a try and uh, have a great evening. Thanks.